In the previous video, we created an end-to-end -end ADBC program with, where we are consuming data from Matner and Metal text. Uh, we are using all the eight um, steps which we have been uh, discussing in this tutorial. And then finally, in the ninth step, we are displaying the output. And also a very important point which I mentioned here is that we should always do try and try and catch all the exceptions while working in the classes. Also, in S4HANA, we should not be using subroutines. Instead, it should be class and methods. But for the sake of understanding uh, and for considering that there would be new abappers, I'm using the subroutine form and end form just for your clarity and to segregate the codes. So in this uh, tutorial, let us debug this program and uh, get better picture how it behaves at runtime. So I could have debugged here in ADT, but uh, just for simplicity, I am going to GUI and then debugging there. So I am here. This is our program. I go to display. Oops, I did not want to display the variant. I want to go to the source code display and I'll put a breakpoint on the first line and now let's execute. So I could have run both blank because this is select option, but I want to show something. So I will give you a FERT. This is a met trial. And now I hit execute. So here, if we provide the DB uh, name, then it will connect to the database. But if we do not provide anything, it connects to the default database. That is the database on which this application server is so in our case is s4 hana we can confirm it right now here if i do f6 so it did here and one thing i did not like it is that in this my 17 inch or 16 or 15.6 inch laptop this debugger is little small so when i project it to my monitor it's perfect but here i find it little clumsy so you'll also find it's little clumsy because the header part has increased the uh, but this part when i click on this see it gets hidden but in my monitor it is perfect but in my laptop it's a little small so i'll just drag it and i'll sh try to show you the database name so i'll just paste down paste down where did you go okay if you see here the database name is hdb that is hana database so that's one uh, point which I wanted to show you I continue I do f5 now if it is bound then I want to instantiate the SQL statement so this this I have nothing to show here I'll just show this one and then uh, see here this is instantiated so I was confusing that Oh, why did I give statement statement but it is statement and then it is connection so I think I have been preparing this video for quite long so there is persistence of my site so I thought that why this statement and this statement here that was fishy but it is statement and connection so we are good there so I go back now I'll, I wanted to show this thing look at this where clause statement okay so this one the first one is just the declaration second one I'll show you look at this where clause so it is building it intelligently so what did it do m dot matner like percentage why did you get like percentage because in the selection screen you did not put any uh, material you, you left it blank so therefore they, it has created a wild card so now in the second case in the text or type we gave as fert so let's see how it looks so look look at this selection look how intelligent it is so if you put some value over there it will give you that value fert if you do not put anything it will give you uh, percentage and if you put multiple values it is also doing that it will put it in bracket and put in this where clause intelligently so you can put multiple um, types and then see that there are if there are three they, it will have three values here separated by comma and give a bracket so that is the beauty of using this sql where condition all right and then this one is a simple concatenation we are just building the statement so i can show you the complete where clause so if i come here so select this 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 from mara as m energen makts as t on mara matner equal t matner where so this was dynamically created and this was dynamically created and 
m dot is equal to f k r t order by material m a t n r so order by is important and we need to uh, give stress that hana database by default does not send anything sorted so you have to order it so that is mandatory otherwise all your assumptions will might go wrong then we will issue the sql statement so this is just uh, execute the query and it will sit in in this set so this is a this is instantiated now assign the targets this is very important so uh, one important thing you have to do is you have to define the type of your output so this you cannot do it uh, in line because you do not know uh, what the output type will be so i have already defined the output type lt text and lt results so it will have three fields so you see it will have matner memtod and maktx so that data type we have to get a reference in lr so we'll instantiate that so f6 here you go the lr data is um, referring to now lt results so it will also have three it will have three structures right three fields in the structures and if you want to see the data you can just do arrow and this one so it will show you the data if the data is there so right now it is zero so nothing is showing up and then retrieve the complete result sets now you will find the data because we will do the next package so if you go here do a next package look here you have three entries here and automatically it comes into lt result how so we did not pass it to any anywhere we did not do anything but you know that lr sql result set we are we have set it to lr data and lr data okay let me come back so you have set it to lr data so lr data itself is of type uh, lt results and then this lt results get populated so if you want to see the data of lr result then you have to do this star okay and if i go here so it's like pointing to the address and then address is having the value value from this one right and then rest all are simple so rest all is close the query you just close the query and then close the connection and then display the alv the simple factory f8 here you go so i hope you would appreciate uh, the where clause that is very important you need to know if you do not pass anything it is default that is another point which i wanted to highlight and then when you have values in the selection screen this will not use the wild uh, wild card but if you do not send anything it will use as like and then m like and then percentage which is the wild card and also you need to define the target you need to define the target uh, using type so if you go to this lt so this is of type ty results and this you have to do so you either you have to define it or you have to use a structure which is already there in the system because uh, you have to get this in some table reference lr data so lr data will have of type lt results so this is the only thing which might be custom in your project after that you have to do rest next package and the next package you have not assigned anything but you need to know that it will be assigned in the target which we have set so we have set this parameter for of type lt result and then rest all our close close the query close the database and then display so in the next class uh, we will wrap up our advc programming